Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, oscilloscopes and how they work. Let's imagine you have an electrical signal. So you're going to have voltage against time. What might the signal look like? It might be you know, a sine wave, it might be anything very weird. And you want to investigate the signal. So for example it might be coming from a digital processor or a fiber optic cable or um, a microphone or something like that. How do you investigate it? Well in principle you just do a plot like this. But there's a problem. Your signal might well have a frequency of even gigahertz as in the case of a modern computer. If it's sort of frequency of gigahertz that means the time from there to there might be less than a nanosecond which means if you have one second of data plot on this sort of scale it's going to be thousands of kilometers long in a plot. And no one can examine a thousand kilometer long plot with any reasonable hope of seeing anything. So what do you do? Well that's where oscilloscopes come in. What an oscilloscope does is it has its window and it plots things over and over again. So as soon as it comes to the end here, it starts over there and then starts over here and so on and so forth. So this means you don't need thousands of kilometers long, you just need the small period, but you're getting the thing plotted on top of each other over and over again. So what's that going to mean? Well very often your plot will end up looking something like this, where you can't see anything. What you can do, this is because this, the waves are so small, what you can do is you can change the scale. There'll normally be some sort of scale along the bottom here, and that might be, say to begin with, say 10 microseconds. But if there are too many oscillations over 10 microseconds, you might need to get it down to you know, one microsecond or um, 100 nanoseconds or something like that. And that might then spread out your plot until you can actually see what's going on. You still have the trouble though that at the end of each cycle it'll come back at a different position. So as time goes on you get all the different waves superimposed on each other. The solution to that is called triggering. The idea is you set a trigger level somewhere. So let's say that's your trigger level and that's your trigger time and what it'll do is it'll plot whenever the signal passes that value at this particular point and then when the next cycle starts it won't plot it immediately but it'll wait until it's lined up so it still goes through this point at this time so every plot will always go through that point at that time when the triggering level is set this is the marvel of oscilloscopes. It allows you to actually see a representative bit of the wave function, look how it's changing with time as you fiddle with things, and it's all plotted on top of itself, so you can see what you really need to know, even though the signal might be going past at thousands of times a second. Another problem you can use oscilloscope for is let's say you have a, a signal which is voltage against time, which is mostly zero, but suddenly something happens. For example, maybe this is the output from a seismometer and that's when an earthquake happened. Or that might be um, a star tracker when a star suddenly goes across your field of view. Bear in mind this plot can be thousands of kilometers long. So how are you going to actually find the little bit where it does something? Once again what you do is you use triggering. So you trigger, say at this level over here, in this case it'll only plot when it first passes, it won't plot all these empty bits over here, it'll only plot this bit so you'll see just the middle bit, the bit you really want in your plot. So that's how oscilloscopes work, they're basically a way of plotting voltage against time but with a clever trick called you can change the scale so you can zoom in whatever frequency you're looking at to see something and as a trick of triggering which for a periodic signal allows you to line it up and for a non-periodic signal allows you to zoom in on the on the time of interest.